it's official. This is actually the shortest JSON sample that I've ever found, but it is such a unique use case, and I think that this will come in handy for me personally. It is blurring text in SharePoint. How many times have you shown a, a list to someone or a library and there was something in there? You're like, oh, I really don't want to show this thing off. Maybe it's a phone number. Maybe it's client name. Maybe it's, it's some kind of client information. And you want to be able to show this, but you need to obscure information. Maybe you've hidden the columns in the past. Maybe you just didn't. Maybe you recreated the entire thing and used sample data. So, which, you know, that takes up time. What if you could just blur the text and show all the all the safe information at the same time? That's exactly what this JSON solution does. It's completely free. It's just blown my mind how easy this is to implement. This thing is really cool. I can't wait to show it off. So let's just get into it. So I'm on a, a sample SharePoint list right now. I just used a copilot actually used copilot to generate some text uh, with some some data that might be sensitive so we've got a phone number in here if i was going to be showing this off to someone uh, there's there's a lot of times i may want to hide that phone number it depends on who these uh, who the contacts are in this list in this case it's customer contact so depending on who i'm talking to or showing my sharepoint site to i may want to hide that so what I can do is we're going to be going into, uh, in this case, the phone number field. We're going to be hiding these values. Now, the first thing we need to do is, uh, let me widen this thing out a little bit. We're going to hover over the phone number column heading, hit the down arrow, go to column settings, and then format this column. This is where you'll usually do like conditional formatting and, and things like that. But for these JSON samples, we always go straight to the bottom to advanced mode. That's where we can get access to the JSON uh, and, and apply all of these amazing samples that I've been showing you. And, and I'm, I'm just scratching the surface, to be honest, of what stuff is out there for free created by the community. This sample is going to be coming from Julian Albert. You'll see that he created this. It was actually just last month that he uh, created this and submitted it to the uh, Microsoft 365 and Power Platform community. So thank you for that, Julian. You'll see an image of what this looks like. And it, it's, it's called blurred field value. It does exactly what it says. It blurs the, the, the value of the field that you apply it to. So it's incredibly simple. Um, there's not much else to, to say about this. It's just really, really simple. If we click on the JSON, you'll see it's even simpler. That's it. This, this is all it takes to blur the value. It's just using CSS to do that. What we can do is up at the top right corner, we can click on this thing right next to the raw button and it says copy raw file. So if we click that, go back to SharePoint, select all the existing formatter or the, the existing JSON that's in there, delete that and paste in this little tiny bit of JSON formatting. We can click preview and you'll see that the text is blurred. It is uh, blurred with with black, which based on the the screenshot, you'll see that it looks great on a white background site. Now here I've got a dark background. So yes, while it's blurred, it's not quite obvious what that is. You might be looking, you might be scratching the screen saying, is that dirt? Is that something on my monitor? So what we can do for to treat this for like a darker site is right here. Let me uh, increase the width of this. So we're we're applying a text shadow, and then right here is the color of that shadow. If we were to just change this to FFF, it'll be a white text now. So this looks. Oh, not sure what happened there. Yeah, I'm just going to click the save button and close this before something bad happens. But you'll see that the text is now kind of a white color. This actually looks great on a darker background. Now, though, that's just a hex code for color. Those the, the, the pound sign. And let me go back in here. The pound sign and the 
uh, the three hex letters. Uh, so you could, you know, use that and play around with that and change the color to whatever you want. But in this case, the white looks really, really good. So I'm just going to leave it there. There's a lot of other things you could do with this, though. This is an incredibly simple sample. Just to go back in here into GitHub and see what this thing is. You can you can apply this to other formatters. So if you're if you already have some custom formatting and you want to add this feature in there, you can easily do that because it's really just two things inside that style tag. And if you're not comfortable looking at, you know, and understanding what's even happening in this formatter, then I've got an online course. You'll see a link in the description below. It'll, it'll teach you all about how JSON formatting works and how to create this stuff from scratch so that you'll not only be able to read all this and know what it's doing, but you'll also be able to modify this however you want. You can integrate that into some other thing. You can take multiple solutions and combine them because you'll have that level of clarity and confidence with that. So uh, it's my by far my most popular online course and I keep hearing about success stories from students so uh, thank you for that and if you're interested there's a link in the description below and if you want to see more cool JSON samples just like this then click or tap the screen and I'll see you over there